Hello, my name is Dorothy Chia and you're watching my vlog, Life of a Piano Teacher. I'm going to be doing a series of short videos each week focusing on um, an aspect of uh, teaching that is related to the ABRSM exams. So Today we're going to be looking at Andante in A by Haydn, which is in the A2 of the Grade 5 exam pieces. Today I'm going to look at phrasing. Uh, in Haydn's piece, one of his characteristics of, of the classical period is you'll see two note slurs. For example, in the second bar, we have the A going to the E. All right? And once more at the bar 4, we also have in the left hand, so you see that slur there. How do we execute this uh, slur? Some students tend to make the second note like a staccato. All right? And if we keep planting staccatos all over, every time we see two note slurs, it actually makes the music sound like it's having a, a hiccup. So uh, let me demonstrate. sudden and the, the two note slur sounds too abrupt and, and too clipped. So um, let me show you how I execute a two note slur. Imagine that your hand is, uh, your wrist is totally relaxed. Allow the wrist to drop as your hand descends into the keys. Now as you do a roll upwards from the wrist, yeah, gradually lift off the weight and then play the second note. So if you listen, it will be a strong. Listen to the decay, match the weight on the way up, and the second note should sound match to the level that the sound has decayed to. Yeah? Right? So you notice I round up the sound. Same with the left hand. Listen to the decay and then match the second note to where the decay point is. So it's not just a physical lift off without listening, but you listen to the connection between the two notes. And that should give the sound a more graceful look. I hope this has been helpful. Till the next time. Bye-bye.